Hello my loves, I hope you're all okay, I hope you all had the most amazing Christmas and I hope you're all having a lovely relax on this, I can't even think what day it is, what day is it? It's Monday, it's that bit in between Christmas and New Year where you have no idea what time it is, what day it is and all you do is sit in your pyjamas eating Christmas food and watching films. So I told myself I was going to take a little bit of time off in between Christmas and New Year this year because I never do it and I always just want like a little bit of time to almost like recharge my batteries. But I have been absolutely obsessed with watching what I got for Christmas videos. I just think they're so, they're so fun. And also this video was very highly requested, which I didn't really think it would be. I used to always do these on my channel. To be honest, I felt a little bit weird doing one this year because there is just so much going on but like I said it's just a nice little light-hearted fun video and I popped a little question box thing on my story yesterday asking what videos you'd like to see in 2021 which is literally at the end of this week how crazy is that so so many of you wanted to see what I got for Christmas video so I've literally got all of my presents displayed out in front of me. I've been here since Christmas. I am one of those people that makes a little gift display and I like to just sit and stare at them. I've done it ever since I was little. Me and Jamie actually had our little piles um, each side of the TV and it was really nice because every time I watch in a film I could just see my little presents there and it made me really happy. Also, if you see a very moody cat skulking around that's tilly um we actually got teddy yesterday which is so exciting if you guys haven't seen any of my other videos then teddy is our brand new little baby kitten um that we picked up yesterday and he is settling in just fine but tilly on the other hand is not a very happy bunny but you guys will get to meet teddy very 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 soon sorry i feel like we haven't caught up in the longest time and i've just rambled for so long because i missed you all so much i literally haven't filmed in a week and i'm like i don't feel like me if you haven't already take a seat get yourself a nice warm i was gonna say warm hot drink i'm out of practice get yourself a nice drink get all the snacks get in your pjs get on the sofa light a candle i am gonna start today with something i look forward to every single year and that is my stocking from my mum and some of you may think Gemma, aren't you getting a little bit old to have a stocking and my answer to that is which i say to my mum every single year mm -hmm. You're never too old for a stocking. It's a tradition. So the stocking from my mum is always just my favourite thing ever. It's so cute. She manages to find just the cutest things ever. And the first thing in my stocking is some of these Lindor chocolates. These are some of my favourites and some little reindeers and Santa. Also, please excuse my nails. Oh my God. I just... Let's just not even go there. I'm in tier four. There's not much I can do. The next thing in my stocking I feel like is my favorite thing out of every single thing. And it's this little Paddington Bear key ring. I've spoken about this so much, but me and my mum have like a few favorite programs that we watch all the time. And they are Peter Rabbit, Paddington Bear, Wurzel Gummidge, The Snowman, and I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, and stick man. And whenever we see one of those like things as a little cute little key ring or a little character or a little mug, we always get it for each other. So she found this cute little Paddington Bear key ring. I literally love this so much. Then next in my stocking, I've got a lovely pair of cozy socks. Cozy socks are one of my favorite things to get at Christmas. I just, there's nothing better than a fresh pair of cozy socks. Okay, next I got some more chocolate. Usually my stocking has got a lot of chocolate and sweets in which I absolutely love. I love these days between Christmas and New Year where you can just use all your new things and eat all your new chocolate. So I've never actually seen this one. This one is the Winter Wonderland edition and it's like little Christmas tree shapes which looks so yummy. Next I got this wet detangling hairbrush which I'm very 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 excited to use. It's funny because the other week I was saying to my mum that I don't know where all my hairbrushes have gone, they just seem to have disappeared and currently when my hair's wet I've been using this big like blow drying brush and it's been just basically ripping all my hair out. Um, so she got me this one to use when I have wet hair. I'm very excited to like have a big pamper session with all my new things and use my new hairbrush. Then next I also got this cute little dusty pink hairband just for when I'm doing my skincare or my makeup. Would it really be a Gemma stocking if there wasn't something half eaten in it? I got these little 
Dairy Milk Snowballs, which which was my Christmas Day breakfast. A few other little chocolate bits, got a Maltese reindeer and also a Dairy Milk Snowman. If you haven't tried the orange ones of these, oh my god, buy them all before they disappear for another year because they are amazing. Half eaten bar of nougat. This was amazing. This was from Waitrose and funnily enough, I bought my mum this as well. Um, and this is the mixed berry Italian soft nougat. So good, literally is just pure sugar but it tastes amazing. And last but definitely not least in my stocking was another one of my favorites. I would say this and the Paddington key ring are my two top favorites. And look, snowman marshmallows. They actually have snowman faces on. I said to my mum like, where did you find these? Because throughout December I was looking for cute little bits like this to pop on hot chocolates. And she said Asta, so I'll remember that for next year. Asta have all the cute Christmassy things. Every single year for as long as I can remember, my mum always gets me a new fluffy dressing gown and it's something that I just look forward to every single year. Again, I feel like there's nothing better than a new cozy sock and a new cozy dressing gown. So she picked out this teddy fleece, beautiful pink one. I love it so much. I haven't worn this yet. I'm kind of saving this for I have a really lovely bath and I use all of my new pamper bits and I'm just feeling lovely and brand new and I put on my brand new dressing gown which has been on the radiator getting warm ready for when I get out the bath that's what I'm saving it for but this is from next and it is honestly look how cozy that looks so then there are a few other really cute little gift bags from my mum she always finds the cutest little gift bags so in this one here I have a snow fairy shower gel so so happy about this I miss snow fairy from lush so much when they stopped selling it and I love the shower gel it smells so good I'm sure all of you have smelled snow fairy from lush but if you haven't it just smells like pure sugar and sweets and it's just the sweetest loveliest smelling thing ever so I'm very 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 happy to have some shower gel and then she also got me as well, which I've never actually tried. This is a Snow Fairy shampoo bar. So excited to try. I don't know if you can tell, but my hair's looking a little bit greasy up there. And I could do with a hair wash today. So I think I'm going to use my little Snow Fairy. It smells amazing. And if my hair smells anything like this, I will be very, very happy. I also got loads and loads of different um, Lush bath bombs, but they're all upstairs. And it would take me forever to talk through those. So I'll show you those in my next vlog. As you guys know, I have a little bit of an obsession with Lush bath bombs. So I've got a whole new selection of those like it's new level so i'll show you that in my next vlog my mum also got me a new hairbrush to go with my detangling brush because when i was at hers the other week she was blow drying her hair and she was using this brush and she was creating like really it's not really curly like big bouncy waves almost like blow dry waves and i've only got a really big one of these and i was like oh can i have that brush and she was like no but she bought me my own which i'm so happy about you guys know mugs are pretty much my obsession i have a mug addiction i have a full double cupboard filled with mugs um and i just can't stop buying them the funny story behind this i remember when i was actually christmas shopping and i was in paper chase i saw this one and i picked it up and i was like i love it i just love the size i love the colors i'm very i'm very particular with my mugs i just thought this would be a perfect like second coffee of the day mug where you've already had like a real large mug in the morning and you have almost had your daily caffeine quota but you want a little pick me up perfect mug for that but I put it back because I thought, Do you know what, Jemmy, I'm meant to be buying things for other people and you really don't need any more mugs. And then my mum got me it. So I must have popped that one out into the universe or my mum just knows me far too well. Oh no, my chocolates have fell out their box. Oh no. Oh my God, they smell amazing. I'm going to have to put them back in order because me and Jamie have got this thing going on where whenever we get a nice new box of chocolates, we're basically just lay in bed eating them. We have to have one of the same one each so we can rate them. We are those people. These ones are one of my favourite boxes of chocolates ever. And they are the Lily O'Breen. Breen? Brian? Not sure. Dessert collection. Oh my god. Unreal. So there's a lemon posset, a banoffee pie, hazelnut torte, key lime pie, raspberry infusion and creme brulee. I had the creme brulee on... Uh, uh, I can't even speak, they're so good. I had the creme brulee one on Christmas day and it, it was delightful. 
And then the last thing that my mum actually got me was something that I asked for and that was a mini chopper plus. I really, really, really needed one of these. Um, as you guys know, I like to make lemon and ginger tonic and grating ginger is actually the bane of my life. Like I don't make that tonic because I hate grating the ginger. The anxiety that I'm gonna grate my nails off, which I don't have a problem with right now because I have nubs. But this will just come in so handy and I thought I could make my own little hummuses. So very, very, very excited to make some new little recipes which I can show you with my mini chopper plus. Okay, so that's all of the beautiful presents that my mum got me. So the next thing I have are these beautiful gin glasses which my niece got me. These are like a pearl, is it pearlescent? Pearlescent? They're like coloured but only in certain lights. I don't actually have any gin glasses and I've actually got quite a lot of gin in the cupboard and I bought some really nice tonic the other day so I might actually have one of these tonight as well. I'm just going to be chilling in the bath with all my pamper things and my gin. I thought these were so so pretty so thank you Abby for those. These next little bits are from my lovely friend Labour. Le Le <laughs> Labour? That was a mix of Layla and Neighbour. Layla who is my neighbour, um, she got me some beautiful little tea lights from the White Company. These smell incredible i can literally smell them now and i've actually been burning these already they smell so so good these are in the scent seville they are orange lavender and neroli they smell so good would highly recommend they're these little tea lights and oh they smell so nice they almost smell a little bit sparry so i'm probably gonna have these as like my bath candles but she also got me as well these gorgeous little tea lights um, I have some very, very, very similar to this on my Christmas table, but they're more, they're more like tall, but these are just so beautiful. They're also from the White Company and I love them so much. They look so, so pretty at night with a little tea light in there. And she also got me some more cozy socks, which I absolutely love. These ones are from Primark. Got some white ones and some grey ones and they're the chenille fabric and they just feel so soft and cozy. Layla also got me as well a face mask which I have used um, and she also got me this. How cute! Milk chocolate dog from Hotel Chocolate which is one of my favourite places ever and I can't wait to eat you. But now I look into his eyes I don't know if I can eat him. He's too cute to eat. Okay next up I've got a few lovely little bits from Jamie's mum and dad. So they got me this so so cute this is a girls night in little wine set which is so cute you get a little wine in there a glass and some chocolates in the glass and also just some little smelly bits which again cannot wait to use this smells incredible this is the bayless and harding vanilla and almond oil smells so so good and in here there's a little hand cream and a spray and also they got me mark jacobs decadence which this is my mum's favorite ever perfume and every time she has it on i'm like what are you wearing that smells so good? Also, if you haven't seen this in this jar, it's so cool. So this is the actual bottle. And then the lid is literally so extra. The lid's like this. And then when you pop it on the bottle, it's like a bag. How unreal is that? This bit here is a little tassel. Okay, so from my sister, oh my God, this is so thoughtful. This made me so, so happy. She put together a little hamper for all of us, but she filled it with all of our favourite things. But it's not like current favourite things. There are things in here that I said were like my favourite years ago and she remembered them. And I always think those kind of presents just mean so much because it's when someone really, really knows you and I just love it. It was so, so cute and I'm so, so happy with my little hamper of all of my favorite things so in my hamper first of all we've got this beautiful little clip on bird which as you guys know i love putting these on my tree it makes such a lovely tree decoration or you could literally just have it as an ornament then she also got me some yankee candle christmas cookie tea lights one of my favorite scents from yankee candle i also got some hotel chocolate chocolates which are half eaten whoops also got this beautiful little bottle of rose also got some percy pigs some ice cream mix jelly beans, which are so yummy. You guys know these are my favorite thing ever. And then I got far too excited about this. Look at this pen. You guys know how much I love stationery. And I just thought, do you know what? If I could actually manifest my dream pen, it would be this. So I can't wait to use this in my new diary, which I'm about to show you. And she also got me one of my favorite lip balms. If you have really dry lips at the moment, I don't know what's wrong with mine. Like they just, they're just so dry. They are literally 
like the Sahara Desert, they're so dry. This Dr. Paw Paw lip balm is unreal. Like, if you pop this on, you'll wake up the next day with very nourished lips. It's so good. And the last little thing that was right at the bottom of my hamper that I didn't actually find until the day after Christmas, I was going through everything, is something that just, it took me back to my childhood and it made me feel a little bit emotional and when I show you guys what it is you're gonna think Gemma you need to get a grip but you know one of those things that you've kind of forgotten about and when you see it it brings back so many memories and reminds you of so many happy times look you weren't obsessed with pop-up cocktail umbrellas in your childhood first of all you weren't born in the 90s and second, they're just amazing. I literally used to get so excited about these. We used to have these every single Christmas. And they just remind me of like childhood Christmases. Having these in a little glass. And I just love them. I think they're so cute. Me and my mum were so, so happy about being like, we forgot about paper umbrellas. I love them. So before I show you the beautiful bits that Jamie got me for Christmas, I actually bought myself, to me, from me, I got myself a new Law of Attraction planner, you guys know I have loved these for years and they actually bought out a new one which is a little bit more expensive than the original one but it's so much more in depth so if you have had the Law of Attraction planner before and you really want to do it again then this one is incredible and I'm going to set aside a day this week, probably tomorrow or Wednesday. Those days I'm just gonna have a full day to really really fill this out. If you have had the Law of Attraction Planner before you will know it's very very in-depth and you need quite a lot of time to fill it out. You get a new front sheet and also you get these as well which are like additional front sheets so you can actually change the way the whole diary looks which I just love. If you follow the Secret and the Law of Attraction then this is a really really great planner. It's a really great planner to set yourself some goals which you guys know I do at the end of every single year so I can go into the new year with just a really positive mindset and have certain things to work towards. Just a really really lovely detailed planner to have if you love being organised and you love setting yourself goals. You want a more positive outlook on life then this is the planner for you at the beginning of each month as you can see all the months are down here which i love i love like a really organized in-depth planner i get very very excited about it a little list of things that you should say every morning to make your day super positive which i love and then let me show you what the actual like days look like because this makes me so happy so on each week you have a sunday to saturday and you have bloody times literally have like half an hour intervals which makes me so happy you also have like a little priority list you have a to-do list you have a positive habit maker you have a little gratitude list it's just unreal it's so detailed and i literally cannot wait to fill this out so my lovely presents from jamie first of all i got two very lovely cards fun fact we actually bought each other the exact same card like out of any card that we can get in the whole world we got the same one which i just love and also look at this Christmas card from Tilly. So cute. You guys know how much I adore that cat. So anything with Tilly's little face on just makes me so happy. And it says meow meow, meow 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 meow, meow meow, meow Tilly. If that was written after Teddy's arrival, it would be hiss hiss growl, hiss growl hiss hiss, Tilly. I was gonna say let me start with my favourite, but I'm gonna be honest, like all of them are my favourite. I genuinely can't pick what my favourite gift is. I just love them all so, so much. The first thing I'm going to start with is cat mugs. I love them so much. For the man that moans at me for having way too many mugs, I'm very surprised that he bought me more mugs. So this first one says, all I want for Christmas is you, with you crossed out and Teddy written underneath. It's so cute and my little Teddy is currently in the kitchen. I literally cannot wait to go and just cuddle him after I finish filming this video. And he also got me this one as well. I want all the cats, but Tilly is my favourite so cute look at all them little cat heads and then something that i've been wearing every single night since i opened these are these super cozy slipper socks these are from fat face and they are just the coziest little things i've ever put on my feet every single night i get into bed i pop these on because my feet are so cold at the moment like they're like actual blocks of ice attached to my legs so these have just been so nice they're super fluffy inside and all day long I literally look forward to putting these on. I know that's sad, but all day I think I can't wait to get into bed tonight and put my slippers on. 
<laughs> they're just so cozy jamie also got me as well this beautiful gigantic cozy scarf literally cannot wait to go on like a lovely long wintry walk with my new scarf on i don't actually have any scarves and this one is just so so soft it's not itchy at all i'm really really picky with like material that i have around my neck i know that sounds so weird but if anything's itchy i just want to rip it off my body but this is just so snuggly it literally feels like feels like cotton wool so cozy and it's in this lovely cream and gray color which are like two of my favorite colors and i just can't wait to get all wrapped up and go for a lovely a lovely sunset winter walk love a winter sunset on the beach one of my favorite things okay the next gift actually turned into a christmas eve gift um so on christmas eve i ran myself a lovely bubble bath with a lush bath bomb got everything all ready and always say to jamie whenever i get in the bath i wish i had something to put my ipad on because what i was doing was making a makeshift tripod with towels which was like so risky it literally got anxiety every single time i got in the bath and my ipad was kind of just hanging in there when i ran my bath he said should we have an early present and he actually gave me a new bath rack but not any old bath rack right this has got a lot of great features this is actually made for a book but my ipad just slots on here perfectly and it's just nice not having anxiety in the bath that my ipad's gonna fall in any minute so i had this in the bath on christmas eve watching a christmas film and i just love it so so much it's the best bath i've ever had and also this little thing here pops in here and you pop a wine glass in there. So I had a Bucks Fizz in there. Like I was living my best life on Christmas Eve, had a Bucks Fizz, had a Christmas film in my bath. Like it was fantastic. Next up, I had one of my favorite little boxes to unwrap. Every time I see Jo Malone, I'm just like, I love anything from Jo Malone. So inside this lovely little box, I just love the boxes. I think they're so pretty makes such a lovely little gift inside was the new scent from joe malone which is the midnight musk and amber and it's in one of these new bottles which is so beautiful and it smells just incredible i always think joe malone scents are just so different um they don't really smell like a generic perfume if that makes sense they just have such a special smell i'm actually going to pop some of this on now because i don't have any perfume on today mm. oh my god it's so nice it's so like deep and musky i'm the worst person ever at describing smells it's deep and musky oh it's so nice they actually do quite a few different scents in these bottles i got my sister a pomegranate nor one in this bottle and she absolutely loved that pomegranate nor is another one of the best scents from joe malone and something i knew jamie got me because we actually went shopping when we bought this so this is a little like handbag perfume thing a little spray pops up like this I've seen these before but I never knew how they worked so basically they have like a little hole here and let me get my perfume out so I can show you I just assumed I don't know why I thought this but I thought you tipped your perfume in if you take off either this bit here or this bit here I don't want to like pull it off in case I break it because that would actually be devastating you take off something here and then this little hole goes on top of the you know the stick thing wow I'm so great at explaining things you just pop it on and you pump it and it fills this up so if you do want to take some perfume out with you but you don't want to take the whole bottle you can do that with this this is from the perfume shop if anyone's wondering and i know that wasn't a great explanation but i don't want to break my perfume bottle because that would make me very very sad so speaking of perfume i got one of my absolute favorite perfumes this one takes me back this has always been a favorite and oh my god the smell of it just it just brings back lots of mems i love it so much so it comes in this gorgeous box which i absolutely love and i'll be keeping inside the box you get a body lotion and also the perfume this one is called hypnotic poison the best perfume ever if you are looking for a new perfume and you're a little bit undecided with what to get this scent is just so sweet but not like a sickly sweet it's a very musky sweet it's just it's unreal so nice if you get the chance to smell this please smell it because it's just it's amazing I'm about to say this is one of my favorites but they're all my favorites but this really is one of my favorites because it's just it's so cute so jamie got me a where's tilly book we've actually done one page of this we did one page on christmas day but jamie was unreal at it so basically it's like a where's wally but instead of wally it's tilly it's so good um on the first page you have what to catch in every scene 
look at all of these things there's a cat litter there's a cat nip hairball it's just brilliant and then you have loads of different scenes in the book and i found it really really hard i mean when i look at that it all just becomes one big blur maybe i need my glasses and he got all of the personalized tilly bits like the mugs and the book and the card from a website called yappy yappy.com and i just think what a brilliant idea like how thoughtful and just what a fun present okay the last gift of today which was my main present from jamie came in a little blue bag and this is honestly just so beautiful and he chose the most beautiful bangle from tiffany it's so pretty and it actually matches my ring as well he bought me earlier this year this middle one here hopefully you can see that all right but this is the matching bangle and i love it so so much let me take it off so you can see it properly beautiful as that i love just how simple it is but it's so shiny and so pretty like easy to wear as well like it's so light that you almost kind of forget it's there but it just i just love it it looks so so nice so my loves that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video i really 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 hope you enjoyed it it's been so nice just having a little catch up and showing you all the lovely things that i got for christmas and i'm very very excited to catch up in the new year i literally hate not filming it makes me miss you all so so much but i will be back officially officially back next wednesday on the 6th and i'll be uploading every wednesday and sunday as of that date very very excited for you guys to meet teddy in my next vlog i literally am so excited you're gonna love him so much but yeah i'll catch up with you properly next week i hope you'll have a really really amazing new year i hope you've had a lovely christmas i know this year has been so different fingers crossed 2021 is going to be a more positive year i love you all so much happy new year and i'll see you next week